It's one of the most popular and enduring stories ever told, the story of the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. And now it's headed to a theater very near you. Reverend David McGinnis, the rector of Christ Church, is here to tell me about Cotton Patch Gospel. Reverend, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely, it's our pleasure. In uh, Cotton Patch Gospel, this is a musical. Uh, the folks at home, if they're perhaps familiar with, uh, with Godspell, it's along the same vein as that. And, and you and some other members of your church and family are, are doing this, correct? Well, not quite. It's, um, it's actually based on the works of a man who lived in Georgia in uh, the middle of the 20th century. He was part of an interracial commune in America's Georgia, which was not a popular thing to do in the 60s. I expect not. But he was also a PhD in New Testament Greek, and he uh, reinterpreted the Gospels as if they had occurred in Georgia during the 1960s. And so instead of being born in Bethlehem, Jesus was born in Gainesville. Mm. Instead of moving to Nazareth, they moved to Valdosta. And John the Baptizer baptized people in the Chattahoochee River. There you are. Uh, then uh, Russell Trees and Tom Key and uh, Harry Chapin got together and wrote this musical based on his works. It's a bluegrass musical, actually. And so uh, the songs and the story have to do with telling the, the life story of Jesus as though it happened just about 30 years ago right here close to us. The times have changed in, in, in the, the locations. In, in, in the Cotton Patch Gospel, but, but the message is still very much the same. Correct? The message is exactly the same, and I hate to give you a spoiler alert, but it does end happily. Jesus does come back. There you are. Uh, but it, it makes the Gospel feel more immediate, uh, more like it, it really happened to people that, that you might know, uh, people just like us. And that makes it more real for people and you get some more interested in, in, um, in the story, in the gospel story. What drew you to, the, to uh, this particular version of, uh, of uh, this particular portrayal of, of Christ's life? A, a lot of times with God's Bill and with Jesus Christ Superstar, you'll have people that love it and you'll have people that go, oh gosh, you can't do that to the Bible. Uh, what drew you to this? Uh, my brother and I saw the original cast to do it uh, after they did it off Broadway. They traveled around with it. We saw it at Samford, um, and we just, uh, my brother is a bluegrass musician. He was playing with three on a string at the time, and we thought we could do that. Right. And um, the opportunity came along for a fundraiser for a, a medical mission to Honduras, and somebody convinced us to try it, and so we put together the show and did it. That was uh, decades ago. And uh, we haven't done it in a long time, but, but uh, now we're raising money for the Alabama Choir School here in Tuscaloosa with this performance, and so we decided to try to resurrect the show. So it's, uh, it's the reunion tour, so to speak, <laughs> for, for you and your brother, and the proceeds are going to a great cause. That's right. All right, absolutely. Well, Reverend, thank you very much for, for being with us today, and break a leg. Good luck with the show. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. You can catch Cotton Patch Gospel on Thursday, August 25th at the Bama Theater in downtown Tuscaloosa. The show starts at 7.30. For tickets or more information, call 205-553-4254.